has been hot, hot, hot lately as you're taking a live look here from our children's hospital camera. That's right. Temperatures in near the mid 90s, just about 94 degrees. Uh, meteorologist Jim Zion is here with a check of the forecast. Jim. We have so much to get to. We have a heat advisory that's in effect tomorrow. We have an air quality alert that's in effect till 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And of course, we're also tracking thunderstorms on WDSU first warning radar and one that the National Weather Service said was interesting enough to issue a special weather statement about. That cell that we're zooming in on right now, moving very, very slowly to the south at about five miles per hour. That one capable of maybe producing a water spout. That's what the National Weather Service says. You can see that these cells are drifting slowly, and I think that's going to be the case for us all this week. We have high pressure that's going to be centered very close to us, so the winds are going to be pretty light through the morning into the early afternoon. There you see a couple of showers. There's one east of Slidell, one south of Hammond. You know, might have a few more showers and thunderstorms popping up here in the next couple of hours. They should be wrapping up at about 7 o'clock tonight. Okay, here's the heat advisory in effect tomorrow. We don't have a heat advisory in effect today. Tomorrow, maybe a degree warmer, a little more humidity in the atmosphere, so it's going to feel like it's 112 in some locations tomorrow. It feels close to that right now, 97 in Bogalusa. These are the actual temperatures. 96, our current temperature in Hammond. We're at 92 in Kenner. A few of these readings might be just a little bit rain-cooled. But here it is, the heat index feels like 107 right now in Slidell, 105 in Baton Rouge. It's going to be hot most of this week. Current conditions at Lewis Armstrong International Airport show you a key. That dew point has come up. Over the weekend, the dew points were in the low 70s, even in the 60s in the morning on the North Shore. More moisture in the atmosphere, that means we're going to have a few more showers and thunderstorms too as we look toward the next few days. But this is going to be the dominant weather feature for us. High pressure at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. It's going to keep us hot. It's going to keep us pretty dry until the mid-afternoon, and that's when we're going to see some of that rain developing. Let's go to the tropics because we have our newest tropical storm. We told you at the beginning of this show, 2,270 miles exactly from our studios right here at WDSU. Yes, it's a tropical storm. Yes, it may become a hurricane. Yes, it's getting better organized, but it does not appear that this is going to be a problem for Louisiana. Could become a Category 2 hurricane by late in the week and over the weekend. Bermuda, obviously very concerned about this storm, but all the computer models due to high pressure making its way further to the east, taking it on that turn, keeping it well away from Florida, Louisiana, most of the United States. It's good news for us, quite obviously. All right, let's show you how it plays out this evening. 7 o'clock tonight, stop it right there. May have one or two showers at that point, but the showers should be wrapping up. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start one more time. Low 70s in a few spots on the North Shore, but we have that heat advisory in effect. Your afternoon, well, we're going to get well into the 90s, upper 90s in a lot of spots. Chance for rain officially tomorrow, like today, at about 20%. By the mid-afternoon, we should be in the upper 90s in a lot of spots. A chance for rain staying in the 20 to 30% range for most of this week. Over the weekend, though, we may have a better chance for rain thanks to a cold front that's going to be getting a bit closer to us. Showers end tonight by about 7, 7.30. Then we become clear, mainly dry. Again, temperatures on the North Shore, low to mid-70s, warmer everywhere else could have a coastal shower first thing tomorrow morning. I think it would be very isolated. Then partly cloudy, 20% chance for afternoon showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and Wednesday. Obviously, we have that heat advisory in effect, so weather impact days for us through Thursday. Chance for rain may be going up a little bit by Saturday night. We'll talk more about that coming up in our later newscast right here on WDSU.